hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i actually know that i promised you guys this kit in two weeks oh sorry in two days this is just gonna be an illustration and i am working with ye ye yen weight 40 grams size three and there's an acrylic fiber so i'll be working with two of the strains i'm working with 5.5 mm hook you can work with a bigger one you can work with a smaller one i have my measuring tape and my scissors but for now i'll just have to keep the boots anything i don't need now aside and i will make a sleep knot So right now, before we continue, I would like to um, tell you what you need first. What you need first is your 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 waist size, Maybe your hip, your waists. You need it. So mine is thirty two. So I'm just gonna show you how we are gonna first start by making the waist band. So. Uh, let me just show you how we go about it i will just have to chain 11. So this is 11 chains and this is just how long I want the waistband to be. So we will actually just have to make what your first single crochet will be on the second chain from the hook. So you go one until you get to the end of the row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. So this is it for for the um, first row. We have ten single crochets plus this last one that counts as a chain. So that's just the eleventh one. So to to continue and to go straight to the next um, level, we will have to chain one and turn round, make a single crochet inside the stitch. Okay, now we have two. I don't know if you can see this, but we have two loops. The front and the back loop so we'll be working on the back loop so in the next eight eight um, stitches we'll be working on the back loops this is the third four five Six, seven, and eight. So the last one we are working inside the stitch, just like we did for the first. So 
so this is just how to go about this so you just have to continue for the full length i made about 98 rows of um this of 98 rows of this for the full length and that 98 rows gave me um 30 inches so i think 31 inches so when stretched it will be complete um 32 inches which is um for my waist so i'll just have to continue do some more of these remember it is just an illustration so this is not a full tutorial it is just an illustration but trust me this will really lead you to do something nice for yourself so you just have to just continue let make some more and i will just have to meet you when i'm done with this So guys, <clears throat> here, excuse me, here I have um, 24 rows of this for the waist. So just like I said, told you before, I made 98 rows for 32 inches. So this is just an illustration once again. So to attach this together, you will have to, this is actually the front you see this is the front of it so you have to turn the back side of it now you will insert your hook in this first um, single crochet space that you have then you will uh, pull this yarn through chain up one turn back to the previous place insert your hook in the same spots and also this other side sorry then you wrap around and pull through and make a slip stitch go into the next space and in the next make your slip stitch so this is just how to bring it together Then um, we are done attaching these two together. This is what the positive side look like. And this is what the negative side, which is the inside, looks like. So right now you just have to um, chain one. Then in this space that you have, and I'm hiding this tail along you make a single crochet okay first before this we will have to locate the center of or the middle of our work and it is here and here so insert your hook in where you think is the middle bring your stitch marker and attach your stitch marker there So for this other side, also insert your hook and insert your stitch marker there. Sorry. So right now you are going to continue with your single crochet. And remember to hide the tail.
okay now we are here at the stitch marker i'll just have to remove it and make two single crochet in that space this is an increase i made my increase i'll just have to make one single crochet in the next so i can have a space to insert back my single my uh, stitch marker So I continue with my single crochet until I get to the next um, to the next stitch marker. So we are here. We will just have to remove this stitch marker and make two single crochet in that space. One single crochet in the next then insert our stitch marker back to that spot that particular place because this is where we are going to be making our increase so you continue with your single crochet until you get to the end of the row so now that we are at the end of the row what we just have to do is to locate the first single crochet that we need for this for the body and make a slip stitch right there chain one make um a single crochet in that same space you continue with your single crochet until you get to the stitch mark so here where we have our stitch marker we will just have to remove it as we have been doing so you place your make an increase sorry <laughs> make an increase in that space and make one single crochet so you have to attach your stitch marker back to this place so guys this is how you are going to go about this whole work the body of the of this skirt um we will just have to work for a part for some couple of rows and mind you okay my waist my hip is 42 so you will have to be making this increase until you you have the width of your hip you understand you have the uh, width of your hip so it is very very important that you continue making your increases so when you are certain that you have your the, the amount of um, inches you need for your hip you can now stop decreasing and you can you can just go a little more row that is if you still if you have not got to the length like if your skirt have not really gone to the length you want it so you can just go few more um inches um rows so i would just have to do this for some more rows so that it will make more sense then I'll get back to you and we finish it up. So guys, I just wanted to make this a total of 10 
rows everything 10 rows for the body so i have six rows already as you can see it is expanding because of the increases that we are making on the two sides on the both sides so this should tell you that yes it is really working so you just continue making your increase until you have your desired length so when i uh, let's assume you have got your desired um hip width so the next thing we are going to do when you've got that um hip width we are going to chain one and go into the same space and make a single crochet right now since we've got the the width of our hip we are no more going to be making increases again because the increase was to get to the hip width so since we've got it we are only going to make single crochet no decrease no increase so just make a single crochet all around your work and I'll meet you right here So now that we are done making our single crochet all around, we won't make a slip stitch. We will just have to chain one and cut the end off. So you will have to introduce your new color, which is this. So we make a slip knot. Now you have to insert it on that first single crochet that you made. Okay. So when you connect, you make a single crochet in that same space then you go ahead and i'm hiding this tail alongside please don't forget it this is very very important so keep making your single crochet all the way around no increase or no decrease i'll meet you at this end to show you what to do next <clears throat> your single crochet to this part we'll have to hide this tail so we don't have a lot of work to do here so you will just have to make a slip uh, you just have to continue with your single crochet having this tail kept this way so it can be in the middle of your work and you finish up see now you have a very good end so you chain up one and cut the end. Now it is time to connect this other color. So you have to make your slip knot. And remember you connect it on the first um, single crochet that you made here. connect and make a single crochet in that same space and remember to hide the tail
So you make a single crochet in that first space and continue making your single crochet in all the stitches that you have. And just like I said, remember to hide your tail, just keeping it here and having it in between your work so you hide it and no one's gonna see it. Uh, done with this tutorial almost done though so this is how it is you can equally work with um, have double crochet you can work with single crochet just as we are doing you can work with double crochet but when you are working with double crochet please don't work with a big hook like this so that your work will not be too meshy and um, if you're working with double crochet you need to work with a smaller hook so that your work won't be too meshy so for this part if you want your work to be more open then when you after your after the um, these parts that we made increases you can just make increase and maybe you know as much as you can to get um, your desired width uh, hip width so after that you can still add more single crochets or double crochets as long it depends on how long you want your work to be or your skirt to be and how um, how long it took you to get your desired width so that is what it depends so this is i just this particular one is just the same thing that we made here i just hope i explained well so um to finish up this work we will have to make a single crochet so just like i said i did exactly the way the same way i did all these ones So you can chain one. If this part is this part is the back right now, so I will just I would like to make this single crochet so it come out of this part. So I will chain one and cut the yarn off. Turn the other part of the work. This is what the front looks like is very beautiful right now you can use a smaller hook to do this you can equally just go ahead with this one so you make a slip knot so since this is the front of the work we can just insert our hook on the first single crochet. Then connect your yen. Remember to hide the tail. You can just go ahead and make one um, single crochet in there. And in this dark one, you make a single crochet. You come over to this part. You're going to leave here so that you won't have something like a c cut so you can just leave there that space this middle space and come over to this side and go ahead with your single crochet right now we are going to hide this tail so you just bring it over and continue making your single crochet 
then chain one and cut the end off so I will be needing um, a smaller yen I'll be needing a smaller and tiny yen so I can use it to hide this long deal you can actually use your your um, your lighter to hide it actually so I don't know just keep your hand anyhow you know I we would like to bring it in through this part so it doesn't show anywhere here so we just have to put it here come to this other one this is all for the body of the work I hope I explained everything well So for this, I will show you how to do it. So to make this flower, there are uh, is two types of way to make it. I will show you the first one. I didn't show it in the other um, tutorial, like the top tutorial. I didn't show it there. This one is that you make your sleep knots. Then you chain four. Come to the first chain and make a slip stitch. Then you make a chain one. And in that you will have a very small circle. which is this I don't know if you can see it so in that small circle you add your nine single crochet or eight single crochet one two three we have a tail to hide four five six Seven, eight, nine. I'll just have to insert. Let me use this as a background. I'll have to insert my hook in the first single crochet, just like I want to make a slip stitch. So then I will now have to bring this in. And use it for the slip stitch then I'll chain three and I'll cut the first one off and tie it with the second color to make sure I have a secured end I will just um a chain loose from here so we just have to complete it three